Hey, welcome to part two of our four-part series, 40 Days and 40 Nights. The first one we went through was concerning Noah in the book of Genesis. This next part, we're going to look into the book of Exodus. We're going to look into the account of Moses being up on Mount Sinai. In the book of Exodus, starting at chapter 19 and following, the Lord issued the Decalogue and other ceremonial laws given to Moses to the children of Israel. And they were to go over that. They went over it and they all confirmed it and they all agreed to it and said, we'll do whatever the Lord wants us to do. And they confirmed the covenant with the Lord. And the Lord once again called Moses up to Mount Sinai in Exodus chapter 24 because now the Lord was going to give that Decalogue back to them written in stone by the hand of God. And then he was also going to teach Moses all the things on the form that Israel was to use in worshiping God. All of those details concerning the tabernacle, the elements of the tabernacle, within, without, the dimensions, everything about it, and the method that they were to use in order to worship God and do and keep the laws and do what God had called them to do in his covenant. And as you know, the children of Israel said, great, all you needed to do is give us the rules and we can follow them and everything will be great. Hmm. We know that ended up not so much. It ended up a roller coaster for years to come. But when we get to chapter 24 of Exodus, we find in verse 12 that the Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and stay here, and I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and the commands that I have written for their instruction. So then Moses set out with Joshua his aide, and Moses went up on the mountain of God, and he said to the elders, Wait here with us until we come back to you. And in verse 15, we find that it says, When Moses went up on the mountain, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai. For six days the cloud covered the mountain, and on the seventh day the Lord called Moses from within the cloud to the Israelites. The glory of the Lord looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. And in verse 18, then Moses entered the cloud as he went up on the mountain, and he stayed there on that mountain 40 days and 40 nights. 40 days and 40 nights. That's about how long we've been dealing with this coronavirus. That's how long we've all been in mitigation mode. But just imagine for a minute, Moses was on the mountain of God, with God, on top of that mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. And the Lord spoke to him. The Lord communicated his word and his will to him and gave him those tablets of stone and gave him all of the ordinances concerning the tabernacle and everything contained therein. And it's very significant to also remember who else went up partway to the mountain near the base of it and stayed there was his assistant, Joshua. So Joshua was self-isolated Moses was socially isolated 
from other people, but not from God. And Joshua stayed below for 40 days and 40 nights. As the narr narration tells us, that when Moses came down, he met Joshua, and then that's when they heard the noise in the camp, and they had found that there was sin in the camp. And the Lord had to deal with that already. But the 40 days and 40 nights, what must that have been like to Moses on top of that mountain? And what must that have been like to Joshua who was down lower? Perhaps he was just low enough to be within earshot. And he could hear Moses and the Lord as they conversed one with another. He may have heard that, that speculation, but though Joshua was there and Moses was there, they were there for 40 days and 40 nights. What did they accomplish? Well, frankly, a lot. They accomplished a lot in those 40 days and 40 nights. The Lord taught Moses and educated Moses on the tabernacle. And Moses had the scribe of the stone written by the hand of God with the Decalogue, the law, and the principles that they were to receive. He was to go down and give that to the people and share that with them and teach it to the people so that they could all worship the Lord together. It was a monumental task that Moses was called to. It was extraordinary kind of situation that he was in. You know, it's a lot like the situations we're in. Some of us through this, the last 40 days and 40 nights are in extraordinary situations. I've been going through a range of emotions and a range of self-learning, self-reflection on what life is all about. And I hope that you've taken the time to make sure that you've redeemed it to bring yourself closer to the Lord. This is a great opportunity for that. An opportunity to learn how we can worship the Lord. How we can get in closer fellowship with Him. And how we can realize that with Him, we're never alone. We're never alone. Because He's there and He cares. Forty days and 40 nights. Think about it. Check those scriptures out yourself. Read further on and allow the Lord to teach you what his word has to say to you this day.